Hi, welcome to the Aspen Center for Environmental Studies. My name is Jeb. I'm a naturalist here as well as one of our raptor handlers. So we are a licensed rehabilitation center for injured wildlife, which is why we are able to keep a few raptors around to help us with our educational programs. Today I'm going to talk about our golden eagle. This golden eagle is the newest member of our raptor team here at ACES. The golden eagle was found in southern Colorado near the Great Sand Dunes. Um, the injury that this golden eagle has is a few missing digit bones at the end of its right wing. Because those missing digit bones actually fell off when its injury became infected, this eagle can no longer grow three of the primary flight feathers that it needs to fully extend its wing and soar. Because of that injury, we now keep this eagle here. It cannot be released into the wild, but it can help us teach the world a little bit about golden eagles. Um, so golden eagles are our largest bird of prey here in North America. Um, they can have up to a seven foot wingspan and weigh up to 15 pounds. Golden eagles talons can be up to three inches long and this helps them hunt their very large prey. So we might not think of rabbits or deer fawns as large, but as far as birds go, that's really big game. Golden eagles love to hunt jackrabbits, ground squirrels, grouse, even deer fawns and goat kids when they're flying around in the open landscapes that they love. Golden eagles love those open landscapes, grasslands, deserts, sagebrush, and here in the Roaring Fork Valley, they especially love to be up in the high alpine meadows. Um, so this golden eagle will be, if it was in the wild, soaring up on thermals perhaps, searching for game on the ground, like rabbits or ground squirrels, and once it identifies its target, it can dive up to 150 miles per hour to pounce on that animal with its three-inch talons. So hopefully we'll get a little demonstration of that golden eagle hunting behavior when I put some ground nesting rodent onto the stump here, tap twice and say perch to give it our cue and maybe see it fly down to eat. So that might not have looked like much, it just flew down and took its food, but doing that in the presence of people is actually really special. This eagle is a super wild bird and only began working with people about six months ago when we first acquired it in, in December. So I'm really happy that you guys got to see that and I hope you guys are happy too. Thank you very much.